This has got to be the dumbest thing that anyone has ever requested. But I love it, and I will certainly try to do it justice. Hello everyone, welcome back. The other day I asked you guys on Instagram to finish this sentence. Hey old Sammy G, play me something that sounds like... I did this once about a year ago, and I feel like it was quite fun for all the parties involved. So today I am once again going to attempt to turn your requests into music the weirder the better. But before we get into it, I'll quickly let you know that the holiday sale is now live over my course platform, samuraiguitartheory.com. Over there, I have four courses. You can learn the basics of music theory taught with a guitarist in mind. With my course, The Rudiments, the next course, Beyond the Basics, starts where the rudiments leaves off. Pentatonic Mastery dives into everyone's favorite five note scale. And in The Craft of Soloing, I show you how you can take your soloing to the next level by thinking about musical storytelling. With these courses, I really tried to make the resource that I wish I had when I was learning this stuff. Each of the courses is professionally animated to make the tough stuff easy to understand. And for a limited time, everything over there is 50% off if you use promo code HOLIDAY21 at checkout. Links in the description, or you can find more at samuraiguitar3.com. Anyways, let's get to it. To kick things off, user Fragalod asked me to play something that sounds like their boyfriend breaking up with them and getting with their friend. Oh, breakups are tough. I'm sorry if you're going through this. Everyone has a different way of processing the end of a relationship. If this helps you deal with a difficult time, I'm more than happy to play this for you. Yeah, baby. You're so hot. I enjoy your company so much more. And a lot. My next request is to play something that sounds like a professional guitar player who lost his middle three fingers. Okay, so that would be that one. That one and that one. Oh, surf's up, brah. <laughs> Sophie Michaela wants to hear something that sounds like a typical afternoon at Guitar Center. You really want to hear that cacophony because let me tell you, I worked at a guitar store for a number of years and it is not a pleasant sound. Um, but here goes. <laughs> okay, this fellow wants to hear something that sounds like smoking crack in a Walmart parking lot at 3 a.m. You know, I can't say that I've actually found myself in that situation. Actually, no, that was 2 a.m. But as far as in capturing this in a song goes, I feel like I would need to create something that's melancholically happy in a disturbed kind of way while everything just seems kind of off. Just chord sick, wants to hear The Dire Straits, but composed by Tarantino. Okay, these are two things that I actually quite enjoy. When I think of music specifically composed for a Tarantino film, I think of Ennio Morricone, who is like the spaghetti Western composer. He did music for Django Unchained, Hateful Eight, Kill Bill, as well as Inglorious Bastards. So basically for this request, I just need to create a cowboy sounding backing track and then play super clean strat licks over top, which is something I definitely can do. Toto Cerrito wants me to musically recreate the relief you feel after you take a massive poop. This has got to be the dumbest thing that anyone has ever requested, but I love it and I will certainly try to do it justice. And look at this, I have just the guitar pedal for such a thing. Here we go. Okay, how about this one? Jeffrey Borer wants me to play something that sounds like the Beatles on copious amounts of acid. So I guess that would be the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club era. I can definitely play something off this. It's one of my favorite albums. I'm gonna incorporate the Dan Electro back talk reverse delay pedal to get a bit of a psychedelic vibe going here. Jeffrey, this one's for you. <laughs> 
Frizzle Fry wants to hear some chicken picking in 7 8. Oh boy. This one time at music school, we were asked to play jazz standards in 7 8 in one of my improv classes. The dorky jazz kids just ate this up and were bebopping in 7 all the way to the, well, not the bank, but to somewhere. Myself, on the other hand, struggle with this greatly and it still kind of gives me nightmares. So I'm gonna make this a little bit easier on myself and do seven four instead of seven eight. Lord help me. Dear friend and fellow YouTube guitarist, the man with two first names, Sean Daniel, asks me to recreate a Rick Beato Instagram lesson. I quite enjoy his Insta lessons. You can always pick up a cool trick from Uncle Rick. Let me give it a whirl. Quick lesson, instead of playing a mode one note after another, try doing it in sixths. So if I have an Alidian, what I would do is start on my first note, go up six notes to this one, and then repeat that all two notes higher. All together, it sounds like this. You can use these patterns all across the guitar neck when you come up with your musical lines. Like that. Oh, and don't forget to tune into my YouTube channel Monday for the John Lennon interview. Old Therm wants to hear something that sounds like you're out in the cold and have nothing but a warm blues riff to keep you warm. My dude, this is a little too real. Last week, I was enjoying a wonderful fall day out in the garden and then a storm came, the temperature plummeted, and winter was instantly upon me. And I don't really care for winter. Why don't you come with me on a little excursion for this one? Aldissimo Sinpar asked me to play something that sounds like a Canadian being as Canadian as one can be. Well, you came to the right place for that one, bud. Here is the intro to the hockey song played on a hockey stick guitar. All right, let's wrap this up. Last for today, Trevor Mickle asked me to play something that sounds like math rock and Blake Shelton country music. These two things exist in very different places in my mind. Pop country is a genre I would say that I know a fair bit about and don't particularly like. I feel like it's a mess of a musical genre, whereas math rock, I don't particularly know a lot about it. What I have heard, I've quite enjoyed, and I would not say that it is a mess of a musical genre. So you'll have to cut me a bit of slack on the math rock side of things. I could be totally off here, but I think clean guitar sounds, angular guitar lines, punctuated with chords that have open strings in them, and the occasional flurry of a number of notes. On the pop country side, I feel like I've heard a lot of super compressed banjo, dobro, and acoustic guitars, um, hip hop beats, and cliched lyrics that sound like Southern bro rap sung by Hank Hill. Here's my attempt at this crossover. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those are my attempts at your strangest requests. I had quite a fun time doing this. If you did, you can leave a like and maybe we will do this again in a year. 
maybe sooner. Remember that I've got a holiday sale going on over my course platform, samurai-guitar-theory.com. Everything I play, everything I do is built upon the system that I teach over there. So if you too want to be able to musically recreate a massive dump, I'd recommend checking out my courses. Um, but also if you want to learn practical stuff and take your guitar playing to the next level, it will do that too. The courses are one-time purchase, you get access for life, there are gifting options available. And if you use promo code HOLIDAY21, you'll get half off everything in the store for a limited time. Find out more at samurai-guitar3.com, links in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. Until next time, look after each other, look after yourselves, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.